Hello folks, welcome back to the workshop. Today we've got a wee Hitachi in for a pair. This is a Hitachi nubbler. Now you can still buy this exact same one as Hikoki. Now they're becoming very popular again now. Anybody who's been using the Makita ones, I've been changing over to this here Hitachi. This is the CN16SA. More popular because simply they're a better price. Not just the machine itself, but the replacement parts, the tap and die. If you're using these here regularly, every day, you're going to have to replace the tap and die fairly often to keep a good clean cut. The die costs roughly the same as the Makita. Makita costs about what, 45 euro. These ones here cost about 35 or 40. But it's the punch that's the biggest saving. The punch for these here, depending on where you buy it, can cost as little as 10 euro. The Makita one costs 35. So that is why these are still very popular. Save you a lot of money in the long run with replacing that there punch. Plus, it's just a cheaper machine to buy. Now this particular one, I already know the problem because I was in it already and had to order a spare part. The problem is the punch. It's worn out and they need it replaced. They can do that themselves, it's not difficult. But they can't get the punch out. And I've already tried to remove this. So take off your sleeve. So we nut back here. Now this guide, if you ever need to replace it, is just as expensive as the Makita one. It costs about 250 quid. This is the problem. This is the piston. This was actually going up and down and holds on to your punch here. Grub screw in here. And she started to rust. So if that's starting to rust here, she's gone a wee bit dry. It's been exposed to water. Normally, when you get a tight grub screw, a good new Allen key is what you should use, not an old one, because an old one will be rounded over. A good fresh one to actually see if you can get it out. And if the Allen key is bending too much and you're going to strip out the head, stop. This one was stripped out, got a new Allen key, it was still slack. Heat it up with a blowtorch, still won't come out. Sat it for a day in penetrating fluid, still won't move. They also have stud extractors, which are basically oversized torques. You actually beat in to the grub, so you can actually take it out, even if, even if it is stripped out. That's what that is there. Even the extractor snapped off inside. So, can't get this out now. Only way to fix it is to replace this here piston. Even drilling is no longer an option because this head snapped off. That's hardened steel. You'll never get a butt to actually bore that now and actually keep it centered. Best thing to do, just replace. To replace it, you need to get the head off. Take out the con rod. There's your actual crank. Spindle here, cam, is actually off-centered as it lifts your piston up and down. that out. The bearing down here is actually come loose as well. There's actually nothing wrong with it. Just we'll leave that on there. Now, the corn rod itself, all you have to do to get it off the piston is just take out this here steel pan here, which is actually pressed on. Balance it on top of something. This can be a balancing act. Just tap it out. It's awkward enough. Would have been easier in the bearing press. That's your pun. She's pressed on tight to this con rod, which is just a big needle bearing with this here wee leg on it. This is the part we need to replace the piston. Now, it's not a cheap repair. One little part, that one little part ain't cheap. 70 euro just for that there. Same as the Makita. Also, 
want a nice fresh grub screw for it. not getting the grub screw from Hitachi you have your own supply make sure when she goes on and grips the punch the face of it is smooth and line with the piston because this has been up and down inside of here which is a tight fit so this guide guides the piston up and down precisely because if it moves at all if there's any play it'll start chipping punch and the die down here so it has to be exact and if that grub screw doesn't go on the whole way till it's flush it's going to jam up and gouge out the inside of this here guide which again is 250 quid so you do not want to do that now, to make it easier this time i'm actually going to use the bearing press to put this back in again because that was just a bit awkward I'm trying to do that on the bench That's her, one piston. Now to reinstall it, you want to leave the Allen key facing forward, just to make it easier for changing the punch in the future. Drop that in. Just put a little bit of grease in there, just to help that needle. And feed your crank down into that. That's her. Nice and simple. It would need to be to keep the labour cost down at least. Because that part is very expensive. guide it's always good to give it a good clean out if you do have it apart I'll show you why she's cotton metal and it's never clean the punch has gone up and down as it cuts and she's dragging up debris inside so dirt dust grit and steel particles and as it's gone up and down it's generally getting compacted against the side stuck down here on the bottom the more of it that is actually in there it's going to cause the piston to wear even more if that starts wearing out till we get play play will then cause you to damage the punch whenever it's running so that has to be a tight tolerance fit whenever the guide's worn out if you break this head off or she's not cutting straight anymore she's breaking the punches or dies you're basically throwing the machine away that's probably going to be too expensive to replace especially if they have to replace the piston as well plus all that grit on there is also going to hold water if this gets wet causing this here to be sitting on moisture and rusting that grub screw even more Just make sure that's clean. That should do.
fresh crease on there. Weave it on here. It seems we're at it as well. We'll just replace the punch. This customer probably has these himself, but I'll just replace it now for him. Tell when they need to be replaced. As you'll see this here sharp edge here that actually cuts the steel. We'll round it over. See that one now is not square. Just round it to one side. So instead of cutting the metal, this will actually be just folding it and tearing it. So we'll get a very, very sharp burr whenever using this. Nice fresh one, will actually cut a clean cut. Punch generally doesn't have to be replaced every single time. You can get away with changing that only every once in a while. The die is generally more expensive than the punch itself. You have this at an angle, so I'll just set it to that angle. You can see on this here guide, there's three holes for the scrub screw. So you can put it either straight ahead or to the left or to the right. That should be her. One Hitachi CN16A nibbler with a new piston and die. If you don't want that rusting up and breaking off the grub screw, keep her lubed up and keep it dry. If you do have to use this out in the wet and the rain, make sure you put a bit of grease into it as well. You can clatter this thing in oil and grease, does not matter. It's a piston, it needs oil anyway for going up and down, but it's only cutting steel as well, so generally a bit of grease isn't going to matter. Take this ear guide off as if you're changing your die and put a little bit of grease inside. Make sure there's plenty in there. More is better than less.